the Shifa hospital compound underneath the ground. We are approximately between the Qatarian building is above us and this is the way to the street. Meaning this is a way that goes out outside from the hospital. We are talking about a tunnel which is more than this, only this specific area is more than 300 meters of a tunnel. So this area goes directly outside of the hospital, approximately to one of the areas outside, maybe a mosque, maybe an apartment. It's blocked. It's blocked and sealed. They knew that we were going to come here more than a month ago and they sealed it. And now we're going to see the infrastructure of the tunnel. This tunnel is a, is a complex tunnel. It's not, a, it's not the ones that we know. It's more convenient for a long living, like you have toilets and you have rooms. Rooms that were built in order to contain people. But this room is an operational room that has communication with electricity provided from the sources of the hospital, meaning the hospital is providing electricity. This room was evacuated, all the gear was evacuated. I guess it was evacuated when they, when they knew or understand that we're going to enter into Shifa Hospital. You can see how long it is. The warriors in front of us are going inside the tunnel. You can see a small kitchen. So it will provide them food, water, etc. All these facilities of water and food are coming from the hospital. Meaning they're using the hospital infrastructures. They're using the hospital infrastructures in order to provide this terror mechanism to stay alive and survive. I want to show you more rooms, more rooms. This is a room yeah, where you can sleep, eat, make command control. It also has an air conditioning. This air conditioning goes above the hospital. One of the reasons that allows us to understand this complex is that we found the engine of the air conditioning, of course, outside, next to the Qatarian. Uh, compound inside the hospital, electricity, full electricity. The gear that was inside here was evacuated before we entered. But look at the ceiling. This is not just a, it's not just a regular tunnel. This is a high facility compound. Or so more toilets here. Of course, they tried to seal it. They tried to seal it also with with sand and other components that we will not be able to enter here. We evacuated the sand. We opened up those uh, entrance so we can go in. But they tried to ruin uh, this tunnel in order for us not to not to be able to enter. Electricity from all over the sides or electricity. All this electricity compound, of course, all this electricity gear, of course, comes out from the hospital. The hospital provides, in that sense, electricity to this terror mechanism of the tunnel. This is a unique signature of the arches. The arches are a unique technique by Hamas, building the tunnels. It's something that was uh, uh, designed in the last uh, 
15 years this unique mac every every area that we see arches are uh, we understand that it assembles that it has a tunnel next to it this is how we revealed some of the tunnels so it's a unique structure of Hamas tunnels in the last 15 years The warriors, it took time to make sure that this area is not booby trapped. We were ready that uh, we were worried that it was booby trapped. Uh, cleaning this area, opening it so we can go inside was a huge task for the forces of the special units that were here. Oh. Where the warrior is standing here, it goes directly to the street, meaning it again goes out from the hospital to the north side of the hospital, where we found another tunnel, another tunnel which has a which has an elevator, like the Rantisi tunnel, and it goes up and goes out. So it's all a tunnel systems that ends in the hospital. It's a mechanism of a tunnel system that ends in the hospital. Now we're going to turn left and go out again in the hospital just to see the size of the tunnel. This is this is the blast this is the this is the blast door the one that we open where we have seen, have seen in the movie that we reached to the blast door we took us time to open it we were making sure it's not booby-trapped. These blast doors allows them to uh, prevent uh, blasts by our uh, air force, meaning it can maintain the preservation of parts of the tunnel to be protected. And also it's, uh, it's part of uh, fighting. So if an enemy reach to the door, you can fight him through the door. So it's, it's a really sophisticated mechanism in that sense, designed to fight. And all this mechanism above us is a hospital. Above us, patient, wounded, doctors, all being a human shield for this tunnel system here at Chifa Hospital. The electricity you see is the electricity that provides the communication, the command and control. Meaning from those tunnels you can command and control all the terror mechanism waging war outside in, in Gaza. This is why all the battalions commander, all the uh, senior commander terrorists came here to command their operation, went outside, went back to the hospital to do command and control. This is the way out with the stairs. Uh, this way out, we uh, when we entered with the bulldozer, all the sand fell down. So it's not now. Now it's not available to go out. But we will show you because you remember the movie that we showed to the.